there we go. It's a it's a nice day for racing. Kenny Hansen, of course, on the pole. He's alongside Jonathan Fell in the number 59. Brand new paint scheme for the number 59 and the uh, 711 Fanta colors. 711 of the white, orange, red, and green. Peter Garcia continuing his excellent qualifying runs. Sean Galligan and the uh, Little Caesars pizza colors again. Stefan Papia is the points leader. Stefan's been very, very consistent over the past couple of races. Has yet to win, but still been very good over the past couple of races. Paul Fodd had some bad luck, but looking to regain it all here at Michigan. Oh yeah, and Sean Galligan, the defending winner of this Michigan race. And the green flag is out. Kenny Hansen looking for his second win this season. Green flag is out. We're going to stay 2 by 2 here for the most part. Justin Barr, the first one to pull out of that. Or maybe Mason Elliott. Mason Elliott going low down there. And they're already going three wide. Mason, Barra, and Castle are going three wide. Kenny Hansen going to get the jump on the inside with help from Peter Garcia in 72. Jonathan Feld on the outside trying to stay with Hansen. And now Garcia looking to make a move. Garcia is the lowest in points out of all full-time drivers. A predicament that Ben Stern was once in this time last season. I think Hansen will lead. No, it's Garcia leading one. Good job to the number 72. Stefan Papias is a former winner of Michigan. He won here in season two. That was actually his first win. Sean Galligan, Papias' teammate. I think the low lane is the preferred lane. The high lane isn't too bad. You can stay by two by two up there, but for a good length of time. But I think if you want to make a pass, the low lane is the hot lane. And Kenny Hansen, I guess you could call that a crossover. Looking under Peter Garcia on the inside, and he will make, he will not quite make him the pass just yet. He's trying to get down there. Happy as Fod and perhaps Feld would be trying to get up there. They're all racing. Whoa! Jeffrey Stanton! Oh my goodness, I think something happened to him. Almost got spun out. I don't think anybody else was involved, but what happened to Stanton? Oh, well, we can't worry about that. We gotta keep moving. Lots of fast paced action here. Paul Fod now up second. Trying to get up to first now. He's on the inside of Garcia. These two are good friends. Garcia and Fod. Fod's a friend to all on the track. He knows a lot of these guys very well. He knows Garcia, Feld, Papias, Barra, all the way back there in 25. But it looks like Peter Garcia stuck on to the outside, and he will be able to stay afloat. With the help of second place in points, Jonathan Feld. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, that um, Feld is second in points. Anton, he does good at tracks in the Midwest. He already has um, two wins in the state of Illinois. Like in the Midwest region of the United States, he, uh, of course, we race all over the world. We go to the uh, Verlandering Speedway for the All-Star Race. They are con We are considering going there for a points race. But yeah, Hansen has a win in Peoria, Illinois, and in Joliet, Illinois. His last win came in South Carolina, but he's looking to get another win in the Midwest region. Fod falling back to third, now fourth, trying to get by Jonathan Feld here. Oh, and there's some smoke up there. wonder what's happened. Zach Miller is on pit road and the pace car is pulling out of its spot on pit road let's see what happened to Zach Miller to bring out the caution okay so here's what happened Zach Miller was running four wide up here with uh, his teammate John Dillon and then Bobby Sweats gets into him and sends him hard into the oh hard into the inside wall that was a hard hit he's running four wide with Sam Limbaugh um, John Dillon and Bobby Sweat. Whoa! Amazingly keeps it going. Of course he went on to pit road, but he kept it going. 
happened after that hard hit? We gotta watch that again. Watch this. We gotta see. Ooh, that must have been a hard hit. Oh! That was a hard hit. I'm just glad he was able to keep it going. Is that a safer barrier wall that he hit? Yes, luckily that was a safer barrier. Oh my gosh, that was a hard hit. Ooh, hope he's okay. Oh, and this also happened while they were racing back to the line. Mar oh, th this is a big pileup. Uh, it looks like Andrew Schwartz piled into uh, Mark Riggleman there, and uh, Wes McCall got spun out, and this just caused a big one. Um, Bobby Sweats, C.P. Dobbs, Tristan Stern. Looks like these three guys got through. Patrick Shores, Julian Ortiz, uh, Jake Cole. But uh, C.P. Dobbs, Schwartz, and all these guys were in it. Josh Fonseca. And the defending winner, I mean, not the defend. well, he's uh, the Zen Joltis winner, Brian Page. Looks like he got a part of it. Well, let's see what happened to Schwartz. There's uh, Wes McCall. His good luck streak will come to a screeching halt here in uh, Michigan. But um, I did see Andrew Schwartz. It's spun out. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay. Oh, I think he just randomly got... S Somebody hit him. Because... I'm trying to get a good view. Let's get his onboard camera. Ooh, I think he got sandwiched there. I think it was uh, C.P. Dobbs getting into his... Uh, quarter panel there, but uh, Tristan Stern getting involved too, ooh, Schwartz tried to avoid Riggleman but couldn't, Tristan Stern was already in the high lane, well, luckily he keeps it going, and the pace car is out for the first time today, and we'll be right back. 